Hi everyone, welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner. That's me, and this is a koala. Koalas are marsupials. That means they have a pouch. Now, funnily enough, one of their closest living relatives is a wombat. Now, wombats live underground and koalas live up in trees. Some people call them koala bears, but they are not a bear because bears aren't marsupials. They have some very cool external features. They have these big fluffy ears, but their hearing is actually really good. And show us your nose. Look at that big black nose. That's so they can sniff out the best food to eat. Now, their little eyes, they don't have the best eyesight, not like a peregrine falcon, let's say. Something I really like is, look on this hand. There's two thumbs. They have two thumbs because they always live in the trees. And you imagine if you're trying to climb and grip a tree, two thumbs is really helpful. Now on their chest, and this is a young male, just your knees, just starting to get it, there's a little brown patch. That's called a scent gland. And the males will rub that all over a tree so that other males, what are you scratching me for? That's how they groom. So this thick fur, when it gets wet, like it is today from the rain, they can use those claws to actually scratch right through it. Now, koalas have fingerprints. It's very unique. There are not many species in the world that have it, but there's a unique fingerprint for each koala. And lastly is their camouflage. They have predators too. Eagles and owls in the sky, dingoes and goannas, quolls on the ground. Now, the camouflage is pretty basic, but have a look at it, have a think about it. What you've got is gray and brown on top, if you're a bird or an owl or an eagle from above, you camouflage with the tree. And from the bottom, it's white. Because if you look up at the sky and you're a dingo or a quoll, it's quite bright and that blends in. Koalas spend their whole lives in the trees. If they need to come down to go to another tree, they will. But basically they spend their whole time up in those trees. Koalas are found along Eastern Australia from Queensland all the way down to Victoria. They live in the eucalypt forests along the Great Dividing Range, from the coast to about 500 kilometers, maybe a little bit more inland. They live on hillsides or plains, wherever there are eucalypt forests. You'd normally only see a koala by itself. They are solitary. But if a male and female are breeding, they'll be together. Or if a female has a joey, uh, they're together. Now that joey will live in a pouch, but when it gets almost to the size that it'll leave mum, it climbs onto the back and it lives on the back. And when it does that, it learns from its mum where to sit, what to eat, to watch out for predators. Koalas only eat eucalyptus. Now some people think that koalas get drunk from the eucalypt. They don't. What happens is, the eucalypt is so low in nutrients or energy, the koalas have to sleep a lot. Now, why do they sleep a lot? Sleeping conserves energy. So if the food that you are eating is not great quality food, you sleep to conserve that energy. They sleep for up to 20 hours a day. People also think that koalas never drink. So many people say it. They do if they're thirsty enough, but the reality is, that from the food that they eat in the treetops, it's normally the juicy leaves. And when you have a look, hello mate, when you have a look at little Banjo here today, it's obviously been raining last night. So when it rains, there's water on the tree, on the bark, on the leaves, and they'll lick that up and drink that. Koalas in some areas are endangered. Uh, it varies from state to state, from Queensland to New South Wales to Victoria. In Queensland, their numbers are so low, it's very scary. In New South Wales, we're not doing much better. When you get down to Victoria, there are some healthier koala populations. Now, when you look at their status, which is whether they're threatened, vulnerable or endangered, their rate of decline puts them on a crash course with extinction. I'm sure everyone saw the Australian wildfires this year. You might even have been in the areas that were fire affected. Now, those fires were overwhelmingly in koala habitat. So many koalas lost their homes and so many koalas lost their lives. Koalas are one of Australia's most iconic species. 
They have cultural significance, national significance, and the world loves them. Through the fires, there were so many people helping koalas, rescuing burnt koalas, rehabilitating them so they can be released to the wild. And organizations like the Australian Reptile Park and Aussie Ark that protect koalas here, we breed them. And at Aussie Ark, we protect them from threats of fires, feral pests like the fox and cat, invasive feral weeds, simply by preserving their habitat. What they need is eucalypt forest, wet or dry. But if it burns, they've lost their homes. So the main thing we need to do is protect those forests. Some homework for you today. A koalas only eat eucalyptus. There are thousands of species of eucalyptus, but koalas only eat a few of them. I want you to find at least 10 species. I want the common name, like grey gum or scribbly gum or red gum. And I want the Latin name, which is the scientific name that goes with it. No less than 10 and hit me in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone. Now, the keepers and I are looking after all of our animals and our families. But we all have a bit of extra time at the moment, like you probably do too. So this is a great distraction for us and hopefully you. Now, if you like what you've seen or want to show me your homework, just put it into the comments. This is what I do, connecting people with nature. And that can't stop. I'll see you next time.